a child to God and is a child to her parents too. The number one, I get. Then number two, she is a wife to her husband. And number three, a mother, she is a mother to her children, to her siblings, her colleagues, her church, and the society at large. That is why she is three in one. Hallelujah. And we are celebrating her today to say, Father, we thank you for this combination. It is because of this combination that we are here and we are thriving today. Hallelujah. And because of what I have already mentioned, this is to say it takes strength and a big heart that has got accommodation to accommodate all the people that I have talked about. Hallelujah. And we are going to discuss the challenges of a mother. Um, being a mother in this era is very complex and it brings along a lot of issues. Let us look at Proverbs 31 verse 28. It shows how we as mothers are celebrated in our daily lives. It says, her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Hallelujah. This is to say, when you are a mother, you need support. You need to be getting your strength from somewhere so that you can be able to execute your motherly duties well. Hallelujah. And I was saying being a mother is complex in this era because it brings along some challenges. These can be tensions, these can be fears, it can be sacrifices, as well as some joy, the beauty, and also the fulfillment of being a mother. Hallelujah. We see all this in one package because that is how the Lord has designed us. Hallelujah. The first challenge that we have as mothers is the spirit of motherhood. You know, you, you, we are endowed with the spirit of motherhood right from birth. When we grow up as the girl child in the family, you will always see some mothering traits in us. And it's a challenge because that is coming unknowingly and in the process you are bound to make mistakes. Hallelujah. And even as you grow up, you start mothering a lot of people around you as I have already indicated. And it takes a lot of strength and, and they will have expectations from you. The society is going to have expectations as well. Hallelujah. And through this fulfillment of these expectations, there is judgment that comes along. Mm. Hallelujah. You are going to be judged by the very people that you are bringing up, being your children, being your siblings, being those that you are supposed to be mentoring at work, being those that you are raising even at church. Hallelujah. Then likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keep us at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Hallelujah. So, this is an instruction from God. And this is a godly man. This is a package that we are supposed to exhibit. But then, the fear is, are we going to execute it well? Hallelujah. That is where the challenge of fear comes in to say, I have been given people people who I am supposed to mentor, 
people who are supposed to see me as their role model, people who I am supposed to direct them into the will of God. But am I going to do it well? And at times when you try to do it well, it doesn't settle down with others. They turn around to say, Oh, I'm never going to do it well. Hallelujah. That is judgment. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Or things don't go well so much so that they turn around to say, Oh, but I'm not going to do it well. Are they the ones that are doing this? Hallelujah. So judgment is there, but as it is a challenge, we know who is our backbone. We know where to take our values. Hallelujah. We turn around to God and say, Father, order my footsteps into your righteousness. Hallelujah. So, what we are saying is, this description that is here, for us as mothers to have support, to be able to maintain and execute it, we need support from the fathers. We need support from you as our children. We need support from you young mothers that are coming, because are upcoming. It doesn't mean that we don't make mistakes along the way. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know that one day, you are going to become a mother because you have a biological child. But sometimes you find that you are a mother because your mom is late. Your siblings are looking up to you. Whether you are a firstborn, you are a thirdborn, or you are a lastborn, if you are the Moses of the house, they will look up to you. Hallelujah. So that is the challenge that we are facing to say, are we going to do it and do it? The second challenge is perfectionism, whereby we want to do things right according to the scripture, such that we don't have tolerance for other people's mistakes, hallelujah, such that we want to be the only people to be heard in the house, because we are fearful that if we don't do things well, people are going to judge us, hallelujah. Let us look at 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8 to 9. Because we are living in an era that has got a lot of technology, there are so many things that are happening around our homes. Whether it is our children, our siblings, or everybody, the media has got a lot of influence. And a lot of mothers are really struggling with perfect children. But as a Christian mother, I am not supposed to judge them. Hallelujah. I am supposed to bring them to the Lord's will through his weight. And the scripture says, Second Corinthians 12, verse 8 to 9. My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. This is to say to the, it's an encouragement from the Lord to the mothers. To say, even in your struggles, even in your weakest points, go back to the Lord because I, the Father, I am the one who is supposed to guide you. I am your strength. So, in all these challenges that you are going through as the mother, you go back to the Lord to strengthen you. Do you know that sometimes we have to go through a lot of sacrifice as mothers? To sacrifice for your family. One other member but you put your head on the block for your sibling. You stand up and pay for them. You sacrifice a lot of things, a lot of time, 
a lot of energy and emotions so that we can be able to fall on the right track. The one that the Lord is talking about here, that he is, his power works best in our weaknesses. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is to say to mothers, we don't have to be fearful. We should know that the Lord as he is, because we are his children, we should always go back to him and cry to him. It is allowed because we are his children. Hallelujah. And we can be able to overcome all the challenges that we go through because of the burdens of this life. Hallelujah. The other challenge that we have most of the time is lack of wisdom. Because wisdom comes with seasoning and experience. As you mature, also your decision making also matures. Hallelujah. Let us look at Proverbs 14 verse 1. It is the one that talks about wisdom. It says, the wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pulls it down with her hands. Hallelujah. You can imagine what a the wise woman. Because we are saying, you can become a mother at a very tender age. Because of the circumstances that are surrounding you. And here we are talking of a wise woman. It doesn't necessarily mean age. It means maturity in the Lord. To know. Such that when you are in the midst of trouble or challenges, and you don't know what to say. When you have a lot to say, but you don't know what to say, you always go back to the Lord to say, Marem, this is a challenge before me. I don't even know how to approach it. Be my speak. Today speak for me in this situation. Amen. And the Lord will answer you and rescue you in that situation. We need wisdom to build happy homes. Hallelujah. For, your, for you to have a happy home, you should be able to be somebody who is able to manage conflict amongst all. Because conflict they are here for God that they are not Whether amongst the U.S. cities, amongst the Bazaari, amongst the Bama. Hallelujah. Bama have a stock seeds. It's a conflict, again. but you should know how to resolve it without taking sides. We also need the wisdom of love to go back to the father to say, I am a mother. If I am a mother of five, or I am a mother of nations as I am a mother of nations, Lord, teach me to be neutral. Hallelujah. So that I can be able to love my children unconditionally. Our love is always challenged. Because there are times when you feel but that is not what is supposed to be. This scripture does not say that. It commands us to love unconditionally. We also need the wisdom of submission. To be able to understand that there is somebody above me, whether it is my husband, whether it is my single mother, whether it is my elder brother, or my boss at work, or my spiritual parents. When they talk, I listen. Hallelujah. And for you to be able to master the wisdom of submission, you should learn when to talk and when to keep quiet. Not that you will be agreeing with what is being said, but that is how to learn to be submissive. So that even if things are heated, hallelujah. And that is where most of the time we lack as mothers because when we reprimand in the house, 
Sometimes when things are not going well between us, instead of listening. And this we are saying, Father, we know we lack wisdom on this point. Help us to do well. The other point is wisdom of training. The scripture has instructed us as older women to bring you, younger women, to bring you up. And it is a responsibility that has been placed upon our shoulders. And it is not only for you younger women, it is also for our children. The, our children, we have boys and we have girls. Hallelujah. So we should train them in a way that it is going to instill a sense of responsibility in their lives tomorrow so that they represent the kingdom of heaven well on earth. Hallelujah. Such that nobody who have an answer to listen out there while human lack one of my word of a human. Isn't it so? This indicates that it is my responsibility as a mother to make sure that I train you well so that tomorrow you are able to uphold motherhood. Hallelujah. And we should pray to God to always guide us on how to train the people or the children that the Lord has entrusted us with a responsibility for them. Mm -hmm. 